was just exciting to be on a new frontier, to feel that this could really help people. And I was very fortunate to be in an area where there were those resources. I am eternally grateful to Dr. V. I'm eternally grateful to Johns Hopkins for what it's offered me. This is my daughter, Caroline, and she is 11 years old. And she was first diagnosed with a um, tumor in her pituitary gland in 2019. She had four rounds of chemotherapy, which were not very kind to her. She beat her up, but she kept, you know, she kept getting back up and coming here after that, coming to the Proton Center was, I can't even tell you, it was night and day. All the doctors were really nice. They always helped me. They made it less scary. They, um, they talked me through everything that was gonna happen. The people here were just amazing. And I, you know, I, I will never be able to thank them enough for making us feel comfortable during you know, the most uncomfortable time of our lives. You come in here, everybody is smiling and joking and you don't feel like it's the staff joking amongst themselves. You feel like you're part of the family here. I came with a joke of the day. They thought some of them were pretty corny and some of them were funny. <laughs> But there were a lot of times where if it was someone's day off, they would want to be FaceTimed in so they could hear the joke. That was part of what made it so amazing, was it was truly about each child and what that child and that family needed. I was treated here at Sibley Memorial Hospital with the proton beam therapy. Last September, I got a PSA blood test done. And about a week later, I got the results. I went online, I'm scrolling down, and all of a sudden I come to tumor alert. And I go, oh my gosh. And then I began to realize I better, I've got to attack this. We got a problem and I need to attack it. I got multiple opinions to try to find what I thought was the best treatment solution for me. Now, having grown up in Maryland, Johns Hopkins is the mecca of medicine. To have a center like this so close to home is just, um, it's just such a blessing and you know we are very grateful for it and we did not take it for granted for sure. Take it one day at a time, appreciate the good moments, hold on to the good moments. There are a lot more good moments than bad moments. This battle, although it is somewhat physical, it's really more mental than anything. It is a stressful time, it's a challenge. Um, you will have highs and you will have lows. I would just tell parents that you know, there's, there's definitely hope when, you know, when you feel hopeless. I feel that I've been given the gift of extra time and that even though there are no guarantees, I am not to waste that gift.